feel like they use some out of this. I know what chinless bottle. Huh. Extra foods, your own my refund, eh? Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Mariana and I'm so happy to meet you. So today guys, I am sharing with you all my grocery haul for the month of September and um, I'm basically still missing oats because I use a lot of oats, kale, spinach and bananas. Basically my groceries alternate each month depending on what I run out of and all of that. I also want to put a disclaimer out there. I know you guys have seen me do a lot of vegan um, like I did a vegan what I eat in a day, I did vegan snacks and stuff video, but I am not 100% vegan. I am like, I would like to say I am probably like 80 to 90% vegan and I eat 20%, 20 to 10 to 20% whatever the hell I want. But I'm overall mostly a vegan. Um, but I don't want to label it like that, you know, I just want to be healthy. That's it basically. So. But I don't cook meat at all. Like it's been almost two years now, or probably like a year and a half, that I've not cooked any meat. So we go in good with that. But I do eat it sometimes when I go out. So yeah. But my haul is basically healthy food. That's it, basically. So if you guys want to see what I bought for the month of September, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment or question in the comment section down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And if you have, be sure to, cut, to click that notification bell so that you don't miss another upload from me. So cue my intro. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad features. You found a hey guys. So I have everything laid out in front of me on a table here. I will basically show you guys an overall view of that in the highlights, you know. So I've purchased mainly from extra foods um extra foods price mart price mart barely had anything it was empty inside there um price mart extra foods hearty foods i got something hearty foods and uh, food baskets so yeah so let's start with the fun stuff paper towels <laughs> so i got this um paper towels two paper towels and you guys I'll be running through this as fast as possible because I don't want this video to be too long all right so yeah paper towels um, I use the Faye embrace paper towels and I also use in toilet paper the Faye embrace toilet paper as well the reason why I buy this brand is because hands down I would say that white cloud is the best but not all the time you have white cloud money especially not during a pandemic so I would say this is like somewhere in between it's like a high quality paper but for a low a lower price than paying for like white cloud or cottonelle or something like that so I bought some apple cider vinegar next um, I use this one let me see I'm trying to get you guys to see it as good as possible but my light is so bright shining yeah um this is the heinz one because the brags which is the best is absolutely expensive um so this one is more of a on a budget but it also has the mother in it it's raw unpasteurized unfiltered all natural so yeah and i've been using this one for the past few months and i have no issues with it so I bought this box of gluten-free pasta. I always use this brand, the Ronzoni. Um, I usually get the, how do you call it, the penny pasta from them, but they only had the elbow. Um, everything that I'm showing you right now is what I got at Extra Foods, by the way. 
So yeah, this pasta is made with white rice, brown rice, corn, and quinoa. Dry chickpeas, lentils, yellow split peas or dal, or some people also call it call it yellow lentils. Some red beans as well. Some multigrain crackers. You guys saw me have that with cheese in my last vlog. Oh, and by the way, you guys, for my as I meant as I just mentioned my last vlog, don't forget I still have a giveaway running. I will announce the winner in my next video next Wednesday um, where you can win a free facial with DK Haven. So if you want to know more information about the facial and stuff, be sure to check out my last vlog where, where I shared a very in-depth version of like I actually took you guys along with me to get my facial. So yeah, let's continue with the... <laughs> grocery haul so I also got this organic buckwheat soba noodles these cook so quickly you guys like so quickly these are gluten-free also literally the only thing that's not gluten-free here that I have are these multigrain crackers but they're healthy anyway so yeah some kernel corn um, these are literally the only thing that I purchase in cans I stopped buying anything in cans um, like over a year ago so I only the only reason that I still purchase corn in cans is because ain't nobody got time to buy the whole corn and be cutting off the, you know the little kernels that's gonna take forever and yeah So Swiss honey peanut butter also gluten-free as I said everything here is gluten-free except the crackers So yeah, my best friend is the one who told me about the honey peanut butter and I've been hooked since then like I can I can't even buy the regular one anymore It's the honey one is so good apples I got um, 10 I believe in the bag 10 apples for $20 yeah even though I didn't buy these, I just felt like you should know, you know, the stuff that I still got. I got these, so I'm, I didn't purchase them. Avocados, and if you guys checked out my last What I Eat On A Day video, you know how much I love avocados. So, yeah. Peeled garlic, because ain't nobody got time to be shelling them, you know, shell, shell, shell. Yeah. This is the first time that I'm seeing this brand, by the way. If you guys know this brand, please let me know if it's any good. I mean... By the time you got back to me, probably I would have already ate the celery stuff. But yeah, um, I'm going to have, I literally put celery stock in almost everything when I'm cooking veggies, when I'm making like pasta. Um, but I'm going to, I just made some hummus as I said, so I'm going to have celery stock with hummus as food. By the way, did you guys know? Did you guys know that um, celery stalk goes well with, yep, I said it, peanut butter. <laughs> Did you know that? It literally, it tastes so good. Give it a try. I swear I will not steer you wrong. Give it a try, this combination right here, and I promise you, you'd love it. It's a really good snack. Healthy, and it tastes really amazing so you guys I have also some cleaning products at the side there but I don't really want to touch those right now I want to focus on the food part first and then I can touch those even though I've already sanitized everything everything I sanitized everything so for now we're gonna move off of we're gonna move out of extra foods and I'll show you um, I bought Literally only I usually buy my rice at this supermarket hearty foods in Arima. I usually buy my rice there. I use the Falak um, organic brown basmati rice I they have it the cheapest so I always buy my rice there and um, Watermelon ah! I bought this watermelon um, This will be done in one week. I'll probably go back next week and buy another one so yeah i eat watermelon like crazy sometimes i would probably eat like whole half of a watermelon as a meal i do that sometimes so yeah 
um, this watermelon was only $20 you guys any size watermelon you want well obviously they don't have the gigantic ones but the small and medium ones they have them at hearty foods for only $20 for anyone so yeah don't go buying out all and then when I go next week I can't find any yeah we're gonna have problems now let's move on to price mat I as I said before price mat did not have a lot of the things that I went for so this is what I'm rolling with right now oh I lied to you guys earlier I said that the only thing gluten-free here was the multi-grain crackers but I lied let me check to make sure as well yeah I lied so I also bought this um, this is garlic bread basically just garlic bread it's like literally sliced the entire bread is sliced there are two of them here I got it for $23.95 um, and basically the whole inside of the bread of both bread is filled with garlic bread so yeah also not gluten free I showed you guys this when I made my um, my what I eat in a day video I used this organic white quinoa from Natus in Natia's Intent I also got this at Price Smart that's why I also got it it's a really good price there I think also a bottle of Perego because who does not love tomato sauce so what I do I usually make my own tomato sauce right but when tomatoes are out of season I buy this so or sometimes if I'm feeling lazy and I don't want to make it then I buy this last thing from price mark some corn flakes just some plain old corn flakes so now food baskets I ended up getting the smaller version of um, rolled oats this was literally the only brand of rolled oats that food basket had and I don't know why I've never seen this brand before so just gonna wing it right but I can't do it out oats like and I used my last oats just moments ago to make oat milk every single day I consume oats so I needed um, rolled oats I make oat flour from this I make oatmeal in the morning when I don't feel like making a smoothie when I make oat flour obviously the possibilities are endless so yeah a pack of carrots I got for $5 also at food basket oh wait that's it from food basket huh. okay you guys know how I feel about this right remember you guys remember my Pennywise haul remember that well I told I expressed my love for this product right here so I see you guys are leaving some behind for me I haven't been to Pennywise just yet probably not next my next video will probably be my Pennywise haul I'm not quite sure yet. I think so um, but we'll see if I pick up another one of this in Pennywise but yeah um, I buy them in, in Pennywise. Pennywise is the cheapest to get them, but I saw it in the supermarket and I could not resist because it smells so good. We are back to extra foods and I picked up this three pack of microfiber cloths, cleaning cloths, so, cleaning towels. Uh, let me actually take it out of the pack so that I can show you guys properly. So I got these three obviously my favorite colors are pink and black so I got these three patterns yeah microfiber cleaning clothes basically I kind of like when my house smells really good so yeah speaking of my house smelling really good <laughs> you guys wait 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 so last last year I was looking for stuff locally where I could make my place smell like autumn or fall and boy oh boy I found this little guy right here and 
As you can see, it's so cheap. You guys, one liter for $10.95. They make different scents. They also have a lavender scent that I really like. So if you love lavender, you'll also like that. Um, the, this one is Autumn Breeze because it just makes the entire place smell like fall, you know, just like leaves falling, leaves turning brown, leaves turning orange, you know? So if you are in Trinidad and you know, we don't have fall here, but you want to place the smell a little bit fally, of course, candles would help with that as well. But yeah, cleaning, a cleaning product, yeah, this. And you guys, this lasts so long because it's concentrated. It's concentrated. You literally have to dilute it. Of course, because I like nice smells, I don't dilute it. I literally just clean everywhere with it and then every, it, the whole house is just smelling so. Uh. So I'm so happy that I could pick this up. Um, let me tell you guys i did not get this i got this in a let me tell you just okay so i got this at psyche tom grocery that's located on number five a prince street arima so another make my house smell good um fabuloso this is in the lavender scent. I really love this one. So I just bought some small, 30 small garbage bags. Double duty. You know, you gotta get the double duty. Protox to kill the bugs, you know, the flies and the mosquitoes. You know what? While we're on that topic, if someone can please, please explain to me the reason behind a mosquito a fly a bachak you guys know bachak right M probably my international friends won't know what a bachak is you guys probably call it something else or maybe it only grows it only exists here in trinidad i'm not sure coming to think of it i haven't seen any in a long time maybe they're extinct now but i'm not sure but what is the purpose what like you know how we all here for a purpose like what is the purpose behind an a mosquito a fly a bacha somebody please if you know the answer to that i mean other than to annoy human beings other than because that's what they do other than to annoy human beings what is the real purpose behind them can you guys let me know if you know if you do know leave it in the comment section down below right let's share our knowledge so other people can know as well including me and the last item I purchased this I feel like they use some out of this I'm not watching this bottle huh. extra foods your owe my refund eh? you owe me some money back I want 10% discount because look at this bottle I I'm not sure if you guys can see it's in the light with the light in it's up to here. <laughs> what kind of madness is that? <sighs> Extra foods are going back in all the But anywho, this is the fabric softener that I use on my clothes, you guys. I've been using this for years. Um, it's a Lanha Cozy fabric softener in sweet spring scent I really love it when I'm abroad I usually tend to use um, downy I honestly don't think downy can be compared to this even though downy is more expensive it does not compare this is the best but this is all this is a local Trinidadian brand if in case you guys don't know so I can only get it here sometimes when I'm going on ships well I mean in the past because you know coronavirus and all you know um but since oh, sometimes when i'm going on ships when i've gone on ships in the past i would literally go to the supermarket buy these things and if i know i'm going for like four months i'm buying like two of these and i put like the plastic and i pack it i you know package it so well and i put it in my suitcase 
and I go on my ship with it because I love it so much. It smells really nice. Um, so yeah, I've been using that. What something I also went to Price Mart for that I did not get was um, Unstoppables, the Downy Unstoppables. Still waiting. I'll probably get that before the end of the month, which would not be included in my haul, obviously. But I'm missing that, and I also need to get tied to do my laundry. Extra foods did not have for some strange reason. I'm not quite sure why. That's it, basically, you guys. That's my very first grocery haul. So let me know what you guys think. If you like it, even if you don't like it, still give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for making it to the end of my video. As I said before, don't, um, I have a free facial giveaway that will be announced in my next video. Actually, my next video will be on Sunday because, you know, let me explain how my schedule works. So every Wednesday, I upload a lifestyle video. But on Sundays, and it won't be every Sunday, it's like probably one Sunday a month or two if I have the you know energy to do it um i upload a cover a song that i covered and you guys this song i don't know how you feel about miley cyrus but the song that i'm uploading on sunday is a new miley cyrus song called midnight sky and oh my gosh i love it so much i love that song so freaking much Look out for that cover on Sunday. So that will be my next video. And then next Wednesday, which will probably be my Pennywise haul, that's when I'll announce the winner for the giveaway, okay? So be sure to check out my last vlog you know, if you wanna see, again, how to win that free facial. And if you wanna know more about the facial, the esthetician, Cody, he's, he literally explained everything he was doing in the facial for me and I shared that with you guys. So, Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.